Let's work together to inspire communities of song that sing together for the joy of doing it and to the glory of God. So here are some next steps that I've taken on my journey or that I am taking on my journey. Sight reading. I try to sight read every single day. Sight reading is a skill that can be developed. It can, you can become an expert at sight reading and my goodness, it transforms your ability to learn new music, your ability to improvise. It's an amazing skill to have sight reading. So practice it every day. Soloing out, taking your right hand and playing the melody on a different manual with a different registration than the rest of the hymn. This can be a great aid for your congregations if they're not familiar with a melody of a new hymn. You can lead them through with great success if you make that melody very obvious. Soprano and alto reverse. So play the alto up an octave over the soprano part. That can provide an instant descant. Or solo out the alto part. Handle everything else with your left hand and your feet and have the alto part an octave higher played on a different manual. Instant descant can be very, very helpful. Solo out the tenor or solo out the soprano in the tenor range. You can experiment with all sorts of different kinds of chord structures and registrations that bring new aspects to any hymn. Transposition. Play hymns in every key possible. Start with a half step higher or a half step lower so that you can do that for a final stanza occasionally. Don't overuse that skill, but do it occasionally. But your ability to transpose will allow you to choose hymns and put them in a key that is more comfortable for your congregation if you need to. It will allow you to say yes to that wedding soloist who says, I have a cold today and I need this to be a third lower. Can you play it? This is a skill that we all have to continue to develop even if our instruments have that magic transposer knob on them. There will always be instruments that do not. A piano is one of those instruments. So the skill of transposition is a wonderful one to have. Improvisation. Practice improvisation. Practice playing things that don't exist except in your mind. Practice listening to other improvisations by master improvisers. No matter where you are on this lifelong learning journey, find your next step and take it.